Mr. Jackie Gleason. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a gasser tonight. Stand by for flying glass. I better tell you the name of the show in case you don't recognize it as we go along. The name of this show is I've Got a Secret. And as you know, it's an inquisitive sort of game in which we try to find out the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight, we have information about the private lives of some very interesting folk. But first, I would like to have you meet our panel. To begin with, there is Bill Cullen and pretty Jane Meadows and Henry Morgan. Look up, Henry. Oh. Yeah, Henry Morgan. And now then, I know that you're used to seeing Faye Emerson in our fourth chair tonight, but uh, for, uh, Faye is not in New York. She has flown to London, England. To replace her, we looked all over Broadway to find the most glamorous actress we could find, and I am sure that we found her. It is a pleasure for us to present to you the star of Arsenic and Old Lace. That's both the Broadway play and the movie production. The star of the uh, Broadway and Hollywood success, Harvey, for which she won the Academy Award. The star of You Can't Take It With You. And most recently, the star of the Solid Gold Cadillac. All wrapped up into the one and only Miss Josephine Hull. about television. Uh, this is not I Remember Mama, is it? Uh, no, I don't think that's the name of the show, no. Uh, well, perhaps I ought to go somewhere else. Am I in the right place? You are, you're in exactly the right place. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Hall, my wife, is watching the show tonight. But I don't care. I am going to be rash and tell you that um, I, myself, and all the panel, we adore you. Oh. Yes, they're a little heavy for a corsage, but they'll work all right, I think. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, we'll be back in a moment with our first contestant with tonight's first secret. All set? All right. How about a panel? You all set to play I've Got a Secret? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Let's welcome, then, our first contestant. Will you come in, please, now? Now, will you tell our panel, pull in nice and close, that's it. Now, will you tell the panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Sarah Weiss. Sarah Weiss. Mrs. Weiss, get in a real close to the microphone and talk about Sarah twice as loud. Weiss. Sarah and, Weiss. And I live in Ocean Avenue, Brooklyn. And she lives from Brooklyn. All right, Mrs. Brooklyn. Weiss. Now, here's how we play the game. As you know, each of our contestants will get 15 seconds of actual questioning time. And at the end of that time, you will hear this sound. <laughs> And I will pay you $10 and turn the game over to the next questioner. And twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and you have won the game. All right? Yes. All right, now, Mrs. Weiss, you whisper your secret to me. The folks at home would like to read what it is. <laughs> All right. Now, there we go. We'll help classify this secret panel. I will tell you it concerns something that she did... And Jane, I think we'll start with you tonight. Something you did, Mrs. Weiss. Would I be interested to know where you did this? Where? Where, yes. Uh, when you say where, Jane, do you mean geographically where or... Uh... I had geographically in mind. Would that I don't me? think so. Do you, Mrs. Weiss? It doesn't make any difference where it happened. Did you do it out of doors? No. Would it help me to know what type of building you did it in? Like hey, let's not tell him anything. Let's not tell him anything. <laughs> yes, it would help you to know the type, but you Was have to find... Was it a public it. building? A uh, public building? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, would this be a place of entertainment? No. All right, we've lost $10, and we have $70 to go. Henry Morgan, please. Mrs. W., this is something you did in... Um... Did we say public? <clears throat> yes, it was But not public. entertainment? No. Was it something like a prison? No. <laughs> Was it a, a federal building? No. No. A uh, state, city, one of those, you know, law type. Uh, it was one of those, state or city, one of the two. Was it really? Was it a city uh, type of building? City, yes, it's a municipal building. Uh, was it in this city? Mm. In uh -huh. this city, yes. Was it in a courtroom? 
No. no. Mrs. What? Weiss, uh, we, excuse me, Henry. Will you move in a little closer and talk a little louder, please? Because I want to get to the Yeah, because I thought you said yes that time, you see. <laughs> Was it um, a school building? School building? Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, all right, there's $20 down and $60 to go. And we go to uh, Miss Josephine Hull, please. Uh, did you do this with somebody? With somebody? With well, let's somebody. say, let's say, yeah. Miss Hull, that there were other people there at the time, but they're not mentioned in the secret. Oh. We're principally interested in the fact that she did it. Oh. Well, I couldn't hear all of that, but uh, let me see. Uh, was it another woman with you? No. Uh, Miss Hull, there were other women, other men, uh, people of both sexes present. But uh, they are not mentioned in the secret. It's what Mrs. Weiss did. Are you a teacher? No. No. She's not a teacher. No. Were you, uh, were you making a speech? No. No, she was not. Were you voting? No, she says she wasn't voting. We've lost $30 and we have $50 to go. Bill Cullen. Were you a pupil, Mrs. Weiss? Pardon me? Were you a pupil in the school building? Yes. Yes. Uh, would it help me to know when this happened? Yes, you, you must know, as a matter of fact. Were you a pupil of ordinary age? I mean, this wasn't in an adult class. Was this when you were a girl, Mrs. Weiss? No. No, it wasn't. Has it been in the last uh, month? Uh, let us have a small chat. All righty. <laughs> oh. Answer is yes. Is this very unusual that you did this? Uh, at this time of life? I think so. Did you just graduate from a school? Yeah. High school? Grade school? No, wait a minute, you went past it. That's exactly you it. Graduated from high school? <laughs> Mrs. Weiss, you've been done. <laughs> I have here in my hand a very precious document. I shall read it to you if you don't mind. The Board of Education of the City of New York Diploma Erasmus Hall Evening High School. This is to certify that Sarah Weiss has completed the general course of study with a satisfactory record in scholarship, behavior, and citizenship, and has merited graduation January 1955. <laughs> Mrs. Weiss, uh, I thought that I was the oldest boy in high school. But apparently, you beat me. How does it happen that you went to high school at this time in your life? And just when my children were small, I didn't have the opportunity to do When your it. kids were small, you were too busy and to I'm go. And I'm always keen about education. Mm -hmm. Always. I like it very much. And I will figure when my children got married, and they have children. I have great-grandchildren. I started. <laughs> <laughs> and now do you know that she's going to college? You're attending what? What school now? In, uh, Brooklyn College. Oh, and I'm majoring in economics. Majoring in economics. <laughs> Mrs. Weiss, you have every right to be very proud, although I know Thank you're you. to be a very humble woman because I've been talking to Mrs. Weiss for quite a while now. We wish you all the good luck. Where were you born, Mrs. Weiss? In a small town in Russia, Bessarabia. Bessarabia in yes, Russia, huh? Yes. And you came here as a young girl? A young, uh, a young girl, but I was married. But you were married, huh? <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh. I was talking to her, and it's funny how it's going to turn out, because it'll turn out that her, one of her, when she graduates from college, one of her, is it her grandchildren or great-grandchildren? My great-grandson is going to graduate high school in June. I graduate before him high school. <laughs> She's got a great-grandson who is just graduating here very soon. Mrs. Weiss? Uh, I don't know whether you smoke or not. Uh, you must know somebody who does. If you yes, don't, we want you. you to have this carton of thank Winston's. And I'll much. tell you what, you only won $30, but it seems to me that uh, in spite of the fa fact that the panel was pretty smart, we ought to forfeit and give you the complete 80. And we're just thank so you, proud to have you. And now as our special guest for tonight, we have a gentleman whose name has been in the papers this year probably more than any entertainer in, well, certainly within my memory, and a great guy to boot. Let's give a very warm welcome to Jackie Gleason.
Good evening. First of all, let me wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. And would you mind making me as happy as Errol Flynn in the spring? <laughs> Good morning, Winston. I always wanted to know how he felt. <laughs> Thank you, senor. I was sorry I couldn't make your birthday party on Saturday night. I hear it was a gasser. Well, we're having a rerun next week, if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the kinescope. It was held over, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right, well, Jackie, Bob, by the way, you know all the members of our panel, don't you? I certainly do. Good. Well, I think we think that this is the greatest panel in all of, uh, all of show business, without a doubt. Don't well, I have to disagree with you, uh, with the exception of Miss Hull. I believe that she is a good panelist, but I've been watching the rest for several weeks now, and uh, I have a little panel who could probably put them away. Well, bring them down sometime, but I uh, happen to have brought them. They're right here. You brought your own panel? Naturally, I did. Well, look, on top of the fact that our panel has contracts, uh, you can't put four people sit at that desk. Well, I knew that, uh, that we'd have a problem there, so I brought my own little dais for my own panel. Oh, fine. Would you mind taking up the I've Got a Secret board, please? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> no, would you mind opening the curtains, please? No, oh, the other way. <laughs> and they thought I was going to make a mistake. <laughs> a load of that desk. A load of the costume. All right, that's, that's your desk. All right, now, who have, you got, who have you got for a panel, for crying out loud? Well, now I would like to introduce, <laughs> first, Miss Lorraine Rogers. Oh, hey. She is the noted atomic physicist. <laughs> <laughs> Second, we have Peggy Ray. Would you mind coming? <laughs> she is the chief editorial writer for the New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Miss Judy Jordan. <laughs> she is the editor of the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> And fourth, we have Miss Betty Ellen. <laughs> Former president of the University of Chicago. <laughs> well, I was... well, you see, from here on in, you're dead. <laughs> well, I wish I'd had my pencil out to get the names. Would you ask the young ladies to identify themselves? A once? little identification. Miss Ellen, would you hold up your identification, please? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Miss Rogers, please hold yours up over there. Thank you. Miss Jordan, <laughs> would you hold yours up? And Miss Ray. Thank you. That's it. You'll notice that none of these girls' telephone numbers have Bigelow exchanges. <laughs> Betty. Can you, get, can you get Betty's for us, Jackie? Reach over and get oh, that yeah. for us. Eh? This is the one I particularly really like here. Yeah. Look at this one. It's on here. It says, Say 21098. Say. Let's say that. Say. <laughs> All right. Now, Jackie, so you got your panel. I got my panel. I have. Now, I insist that this be absolutely fair. And no board. favoritism shown <laughs> not, with not, your not cohorts, no. colleagues, and... Uh, Acquaintances. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Moore. <laughs> well, now, I'll tell you what we'll do now. We'll be fair, and I'll, uh, because you're the guests, I'll give your panel the first qu chance to question, then we'll alternate with our panel and your panel. And if you want the first crack at it, kiddo, go no, ahead. No, no, what? No, you're my guest. You're my guest. Well, all right. Now, I'll tell you what you do. You whisper your secret to me. start at this end of the No, other. let's start down at the other end. We'll start with Lorraine Rogers first. And Lorraine, I will tell you only that this concerns something that Mr. Gleason once was. Is this something that you did quite a while ago? Yes, baby. It is. <laughs> uh, about 15 years ago. Let, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not give information away. You, know, you handle me. your panel. Your <laughs> Uh, about 
now 15 years ago. Has this got to do with your being a comedian? No, it hasn't, honey. No, it hasn't. <laughs> you only get 15 seconds of questioning time. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, is there some other particular talent that you do have? Oh, yes. For instance, it took place in Newark, honey. <laughs> buzzer. Ring the buzzer for the next contestant. Oh. The buzzer. Who's got the buzzer? I happen to have it, kiddo. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> All right, but... Slight concession. We started on that side for you, and we'll ring the buzzer. All right, now watch. I'll admit that your panel, or your panel is pretty. Mine is smart. Let's get over to Bill Cullen. Bill? Uh, Jackie, did this have anything... I am sorry. <laughs> now, Miss Ray... <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to, uh, question? Uh, did you do this on the stage? No, I didn't. No. Uh, it wasn't out in the open like that. It was in a smaller compartment. Smaller compartment. Glass enclosed. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was not on the stage, no. 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 <laughs> was it down don't get it. They must be pretty dumb. Huh? <laughs> was it down in your home? No, it wasn't, no. It was in a building. They had an antenna on the top of the building. <laughs> sneak. <laughs> and the worst kind of sneak is a buzzer sneak. Yes, they are. <laughs> now, let's go to our pretty girl, Jane Meadows. Jane, we know now that it was in a building with an antenna on the top, yes, don't we? Miss Meadows, a question. Oh, surely. Did I see you on Fifth Avenue today? <laughs> No, dear. It was Madison. Madison Avenue? Yes. That's right. I did see you. Weren't you shopping or something? I knew you were walking up, <laughs> up uh, Madison Avenue. Was it near 59th Street? No, it was about 63rd Street. I'm sorry. Your time is up. No. <laughs> Whatever happened to I've Got a Secret? <laughs> you any questions you'd like to ask? Oh, yes. I'd like to know, uh, does it matter to find out if uh, you did this with someone else? Hmm, there was one other person. He was at the control. <laughs> well, uh, where And it you wasn't in a viewers? plane. <laughs> oh, not in a plane. Now, let me see. Glass and clothes, glass? controls. Oh, glass she's and... beautiful, isn't, isn't she? <laughs> Well, was it in a, a like ask a radio ask... studio? Oh, you're com that's it, a radio studio. Go ahead. Well, were you broadcasting? That's right. What kind of broadcasting? Let's well, it was late at night. <laughs> this one we got going Sorry, good. Sorry, old man, you left it unguarded. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to heaven. How much we lost to Jackie? Eleven million dollars? No, fifty. <laughs> please. <laughs> fifty dollars we lost to Jackie, and thirty dollars to go. Henry Morgan, please. Uh, Jackie, was this before or after you were funny? <laughs> Henry, you didn't last long, but it was a good try. I'm on your side. Sure was an embarrassing question. <laughs> now, now, Betty Ellen. Miss Ellen. Yes, sir. Now, was this before the days of television? Uh, yes, it was. Was this in the dark ages of radio only? Wait a minute, please. Yeah. May I make a call? Hmm? I say, may I make a call? I'm going to call a friend of mine, Toot Shore. Well, you don't have to make a reservation. He's waiting for you. No, I just want to call him, if you don't mind. You've done everything else. You might as well make a phone call. <laughs> well, anything I hate, it's a snore loser. it. <laughs> Hello? Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Oh, for you, Betty Ellen. How did she Thank know you. that? <laughs> Hello? Oh. This jockey. Oh. This jockey. Oh. What? All what right. are you saying? Yeah, nothing. Twitch is low. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, you can sit a 
is that a compliment? <laughs> uh, now, have you any idea what it was? Well, vaguely, were you a disc jockey? Yes. That's right! <laughs> so you win the money, you know? I'm sorry. You know you did it crooked. Well, I guess I did, and I have to apologize for my tactics because I honestly believe that this is America's number one panel. Uh -huh. Wow. Jackie, million thanks to you. Uh, I hope that you will take these and treasure them. I want to thank you so much for coming down tonight, and all of you beautiful young ladies, thank you so much for being with us. You've made it a real great night for us. Thank this you, is one Bill. to remember. Thank you. And Jackie will be watching you Saturday night. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. We'll be back in a minute to ask our personal question from the panel, which we haven't been able to do for some weeks. I'm glad we're getting to it tonight. All right, panel, we do have time for our closing question. This comes from Mrs. Eunice Ryberg of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And she asks the panel this question. I think it's a tough question, actually, one that's hard to answer because there are almost as many answers as there are people in show business. But she wants to know what advice do you give to young people who want to get started in show business? Now, we'll try to break the panel up into uh, specializations. Bill, what advice would you give a youngster trying to get into television? Well, gee, Gary, uh, it's, it's awfully tough for me because I got into television as a natural sort of carryover from radio. But I know you have to make up your mind that's what you want to do and you have to be willing. I can tell you this much. I worked for just about a year. Fortunately, I was living with my family and could afford it. But I worked for just about a year with no pay before I started getting uh, any salary. And I think... If you're gonna if you're gonna get into the racket, of course that's not that way anymore. But you have to make that type of sacrifice. It's not easy. It takes a lot of luck too. It's not uh, it's not to be started if you have a family and responsibilities no. because you just can't afford it. You have to starve to death for a while, and it's much easier to starve alone. Uh, now, Jane Meadows, you have been in uh, motion pictures quite successfully. What would you say to a young girl who wants to get into, into pictures? Well, Gary, when when beginners asked me how to get into show business, and I think of people like Josephine Hull. I consider myself a beginner, so it's very hard for me to say. I guess just hard work. Yeah, and pictures is something I don't know anything about. I can't add much to that, except don't go to Hollywood unless you've got a contract. There are more people uh, uh, being car hops out there than there are people being actors or actresses. Henry, how about comedy? None. Co <laughs> oh, I, I had already been working on an answer how to get into television. Uh, uh. <laughs> Actually, the easiest way is to be a very uh, pretty girl. <laughs> After that, nothing matters. But if um, you want to get into comedy, my advice is very simple. Don't do it. Um, I've been in a 20... Uh, uh, quite a while, uh, and uh, doesn't... Um, I don't think you should mess with that. <laughs> <laughs> Write funny letters to your friends. <laughs> All right, let's go to Josephine Hall. Miss Hall, it's been a great pleasure having you with us tonight. What advice would you have to a young person trying to get into the legitimate theater? Well, I say start close to home. Get a chance at anything that you can do close to home in a, a play or a radio mm -hmm. or, well, I don't think uh, television is close to home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think television is quite close to anything. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, do you mind telling me your name? <laughs> <laughs> I would be delighted to, Miss Hall. My name is Gary Moore. Gary Moore! Why, that's the royal family of the theater. I know Ethel, and I knew John and Lyle. Well, What's your first name? Uh, my first name is Lionel. I'm Ethel's father. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hall, for being with us tonight. And so, friends, until next week at the same time, we should be Gary Moore saying bye-bye to the whole gang. You're very kindly of saying goodbye out there. Jackie Gleason. Oh, 
it's going to be a gasser tonight. Stand by for flying glass. I better tell you the name of the show in case you don't recognize it as we go along. The name of this show is I've Got a Secret. And as you know, it's an inquisitive sort of game in which we try to find out the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight, we have information about the private lives of some very interesting folk. But first, I would like to have you meet our panel. To begin with, there is Bill Cullen and Pretty Jane Meadows and Henry Morgan. Look up, Henry. Oh. Yeah, Henry Morgan. And now then, I know that you're used to seeing Faye Emerson in our fourth chair tonight, but uh, for, uh, Faye is not in New York. She has flown to London, England. To replace her, we looked all over Broadway to find the most glamorous actress we could find, and I am sure that we found her. It is a pleasure for us to present to you the star of Arsenic and Old Lace. That's both the Broadway play and the movie production. The star of the uh, Broadway and Hollywood success Harvey, for which she won the Academy Award. The star of You Can't Take It With You, and most recently, the star of the Solid Gold Cadillac. All wrapped up into the one and only Miss Josephine Hull. television. Uh, this is not I Remember Mama, is it? Uh, no, I don't think that's the name of the show, no. Uh, well, perhaps I ought to go somewhere else. Am I in the right place? You were, you're in exactly the right place. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Now, Miss Hull, my wife is watching the show tonight, but I don't care. I am going to be rash and tell you that um, I, myself, and all the panel, we adore you. Oh. 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 It's a little heavy for a corsage, but they'll work.